you, are we rolling? All right, sorry guys. Uh, good morning, citizens of the United States. My name is Jonas Esau, and today we're gathered here to discuss the life of James Monroe, one of the many important residents of the United States of America we all know you love. So clap it up for James Monroe's cousin. Hello. Uh, so welcome to the show, first off. Um, unfortunately, we are too poor to, to get James Monroe. We're too poor, so. So this is the next big thing right here. Don't, don't touch me. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so to start this off, we're going to play a little game of trivia based on James and Roe, and we are going to be picking two random audience members to come and compete. The lucky winner out of the two will get a free trip to Virginia and visit Monroe in his retirement, and yes, free snacks will be included. Monroe's cousin over here will choose the two lucky t contestants to compete, so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Any volunteers? Cheers! Come on, don't be shy. Don't Me. Yeah. No one. Okay. Is it? Okay. Anyone? <laughs> okay. All right. First, first question. Yes, when was he born? 1919, February 15th. April 28, 1758. Correct, Elise. April 28, 1758 is correct. That's when the goat was born. Question. I hope you get more What college in Monroe is Harvard! College of William & Mary. Good job, Izzy, you are correct. James Monroe oh, attended college at William & Mary, and uh, during his time, Monroe studied law and was actually intrigued by it. Okay, uh, there's some weird audience members, but this is a yes or no question. Um, did James Monroe finish college? No, he actually cut his education early. No, he Oh, you guys, this is a bit surprising, dudes. Monroe actually cut his education short to join the Continental Army to fight for independence against Great Britain during the Revolutionary War. Talk about, like, honestly, dude, he's such a go. Okay, next question. Where was he born? Virginia or New York? That's easy. Neither. He was born in Ohio. Correct, Elise. Monroe was born in Westmoreland County, Virginia. Kind of tongue twister there. Okay, uh, this next question. What was his first job in office? Was he a senator or was he in the House of Representatives? He was a senator from Virginia. Well, actually, Monroe did indeed run for House. I'm just joking. He did take an L to uh, James Madison. But he, he got offered a seat afterwards to a uh, senator for Virginia. Yeah. Monroe was the fifth of the United States, so Izzy, you are correct. Next, what was the Monroe Doctrine and what was the purpose of it? Wasn't it a speech from James Monroe or something? Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. None of y'all are correct. The Monroe Doctrine was a policy to keep European countries such as Great Britain to stop messing with Northern America. In case you didn't know, many countries in South America such as Argentina, Chile, Venezuela and Peru were starting to win its independence from European mother countries. The United States to, um, started to realize that these mother countries wanted to gain their land back, and the Monroe Doctrine helped stop that. Um, so yeah, it was basically a policy to keep European countries out of the Western Hemisphere. That last one was a tricky one, but here's an even harder one. What caused the Panic of 1819? Nothing? Okay. Okay, uh, the Panic of 1819 was actually one of the first depressions of the United States of America. The country entered an economic crisis. It was mainly caused by the failure among the banks. This led to mortgages being foreclosed and people being forced to move out of their homes and farms. Which, um, yeah, kind of sucks. Um, it also caused major unemployment throughout the nation. Which is pretty bad, too. Yeah. So, after serving some time as senator, what did Jason Rowe do after... Afterwards, did he retire or did he uh, drop a diss track and one and only Brady Green? Just uh, He dropped a diss on Thomas Jefferson. He ran for president. Oh, oh, good, good. You were almost close there. Oh my God. Seems like you guys need to study our American history with your Don't boy. Zoom in on my and what perfect opportunity it is to go with your boy. All right. So uh, James and Rowe, after some time as a senator, <laughs> received the job as an ambassador to France. During this time, 
Monroe helped smooth the relationship between France and the U.S. Uh, and this also helped pave the way to the later made Louisiana Purchase. Mm, you can just zoom in. That was great. So, I heard Cousin James talked about this big purchase of land. What was that again? Oh, wow, guys. We even got questions from the one and only James and Rose cousin Don't right talk here. To that tree. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, well, the Louisiana Purchase actually played a pivotal role in the westward expansion. It was basically a purchase made by Thomas Jefferson, and this land, um, well, it kind of bought land. So, uh, and I mean lots of land. It included modern day states just such as Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Not to mention some parts of Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, and the state that nobody wants to go to, South Dakota. We do have more questions to ask though, so sit tight. Anyways, what did Monroe do from here? He became the governor of California. You know any day? Did he retire or something? Um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, very close there, is he? Very close. I mean, if I were you guys, I would say that he retired to start to play for the Boston Celtics. <laughs> Uh, if you guys didn't get the joke, um, James Monroe, there's also a basketball player, uh, basketball player named Greg Monroe, and he plays for the Boston Celtics. seriousness, Monroe did become a governor of a state. It just wasn't California. It was Virginia. Oh, very close. Okay, two questions left. What state did Monroe help secure from Spain? Florida. Florida. Took a long time there, Elise, but Elise and Izzy, you got it! Finally, everybody agrees. Monroe helped secure Florida during his presidency. It ended with the United States officially purchasing the Florida Territory. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, we're coming to an end here. I do have one more question, though. What did Monroe... When did Monroe die? What age? Uh, 72. 74. 76. Oh, okay, so the cameraman starts to talk here. Uh, breathe, quiet, okay? Um, I think that should count for both of you, not you. Uh, you're way off. He actually died at 73 years old. He truly died a legend. What's up, my dudes? Uh, Jace is here, the talk host, and uh, we're here backstage uh, in the best backstage room. And uh, I have a confession to make. Um, actually, nobody will be in... Um, nobody will be a winner because, first off, we're too poor to afford a trip to Virginia. And second off, right? All right, second off. Um, James Monroe is actually dead. So, we can't really get him because, yeah, he's dead, guys, so. It's going to be tough to tell them that, that James Monroe is actually dead. Brady, just quiet, guys. All right, uh, see you guys on the other side. Uh, there you go. All right, guys, it's time to announce the winner of this talk show. Um, just to tell you, James Monroe's dead. So, um, we can't bring you guys to Virginia.